Hey guys, how's it going? Nuke of Nuke's Customs here. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys real quick where the uh, sticks are attached to this board. The board. This is the inside of the Xbox 360 controller. I've had some questions on uh, what do I do if my uh, my sticks uh, drift. So I'm just gonna show you how they're hooked up to the board. Now these, this is the board outside of the shell. These are the sticks. You just pull the sticks off. The sticks just pull on and off. I think I showed you that before in another video. Anyway, so these here are what the sticks attach to. This little great stud here goes back and forth always. Clicks, clicks in and out. Um, this whole cube is part of it. Part of the mechanism for the stick. You flip the board over. See if I can zoom this in. Bear with me. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. This right here. All these right here. You go in this kind of circle. Are all the contacts that are soldered to the board for that stick. I do not repair these when they go bad. I get another controller. This is why. I can't solder well. I shake too much. As you can probably tell in some of my videos when I'm holding the camera, I shake too much. I have carpal tunnel on my right hand. It, I can't keep it steady, so it just doesn't work for me. Not only that, but if you could tell how perfect these are, these aren't done these are done by a machine. These aren't hand done by a human. These are machined. If you put too much heat on this board, you're going to burn it up. Or you could short it out. Uh, it may not last. You know, it could last a week or two and they're done. Now, you can, if you want to attempt this, feel free. I'm not telling you not to. I'm just telling you why I don't do it, personally. These, you can buy these little mechanisms for these, uh, for the sticks on eBay. Might even be able to get them on Amazon, I don't know. Like I said, I don't look. I know I've seen them on eBay, but I'm looking for parts. Uh, you know, shells and stuff like that. Um, so, that's why I don't do it. That's what the sticks are attached to inside your controller. Um, if, you, if you're good, if you can solder like, like crazy, go for it. I mean, this is, you know, go for it. Try it out. It's just going to cost you... You know, if the bo if it's already screwed up, it's screwed up. So it's only going to cost you the parts for this if you got the solder and the and the soldering iron laying around. So that's what it is. And just attach back here. They both look the same on each side. This one here, and then where's the other one? Well, maybe they don't look the same. I guess they don't look the same. Where's the other one? Oh, they do look the same. It's just the other one is kind of hiding. Right here behind this housing for where the triggers go. So, anyway, that's what it is. That's what it takes to replace them. All these little solder points here in a circle. Got to unsolder them, pull it off, put the new one in, and solder this, you know, solder the points for each piece. So, it looks like each piece has two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. 13 contacts you have to solder, maybe 14, 15, I'm not sure what these belong to right here on the side. These two right here, no be part. But anyway, that's what it is. That's how it looks. That's what you got to do. Um, feel free to try it out. I'll leave, if you've done this, leave a comment. Let me know. Let me know if you're successful, if you had any trouble with the uh, burning up the board, shorting the board out, you know, after you've done it, like two, three weeks, month on the road, whatever. So... Comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.